welcome back to another break- Oh, no, never mind. It's actually just a normal video for once. So, it's been a while since I posted a video that wasn't like super high effort, very well planned out, and very related to news to me. The next episode was actually supposed to come out in place of this video, but I got busy and I'm pretty delayed and I'm not as on schedule as I like to be. That's right, there's a schedule for the thing that I do for myself. Supposedly supposed to be in my free time as a hobby, but no sane person has this as their hobby. So instead, we're going to relax for once while I show you a speed paint. So let's talk about that for a little bit. This is the piece I'm probably most proud of. I've never really been this satisfied with the outcome of a drawing before because I tried very hard on the line art because I think in the past something I've really been unhappy with in my art is my line pressure. I always struggled with it and didn't really understand how anime artists planned out their lines. I thought it was just, if it's thin enough it'll look good, that's not how lines work. I watched a few tutorials and used more references than usual which will pop up here. For example, the eye reference which was by a YouTuber that I like called Yuki Buns. I think this piece has some of my best line work so hopefully I can replicate that in the future with more practice. The eye reference that I used from Yuki Buns really encouraged me to try a little bit harder with the eyes and experiment more with my eye shading later on. Okay, enough boring art discussion, let me complain. Line art took so long, and of course I had to choose such a detailed and complex dress to draw. Like sure, this will be good to practice on, it was not. This drawing is actually a redraw of a piece from 2021. Time is going far too fast because I realize it's been like two years since the first drawing. I remember in particular I liked the hair in the first drawing, but now I don't like how unincorporated the background is with the old drawing. I remember I had no idea what to do for it. It was a prime opportunity to put her in like a garden or something, but instead I just stuck her on a weird filtered photo. It was very disappointing. Woo, bullying my younger self again. I'm not sorry. Look, as long as you've learned it's kind of okay to bully your younger self, as long as you understand and also give yourself the benefit of a doubt because you were more naive back then and you didn't know things. Okay, back to boring art talk because I'm tired of being funny. I used all my funniness and all the breaking news to me's and now they need to replenish, okay? Let's talk about the dress now. It's from a brand called Garden Cat, which is a Lolita fashion brand. On the left, you can see the original photo I was basing the remake on. The dress has a lot of gorgeous details and it makes me really admire Lolita fashion because so much effort and time goes into these prints and not even just the prints on the dress, the whole design, the decorations, the use of colors, it's all fantastic and all together they become the most beautiful dresses. I actually have this dress, I got it to wear on my birthday and I loved it at first but after drawing it I noticed all the care that went into it and loved it even more. I remember I was struggling a lot with drawing the ruffles because I, I don't know, I kept trying red hues to shade it and then I tried blue hues but none of them looked right, they all looked really busy so I left the ruffles till the end until I finally got the hang of it. But shading the eyes was really really fun, the hair was like, I think I could have done better on the hair but I still like it. But I like the shading on everything overall, especially the skin and eyes, I think those are the best part. I also wanted to mention the background was actually not horrible to draw because it's just like a kind of defocused ocean. It was pretty fun since it was very simple. And I'm going to contradict this statement in like two minutes tops. to recreate the pattern in a way that was accurate to the dress but also in a style that felt right to me. I of course didn't recreate it exactly because I was like at least 20 hours into this drawing and I knew the pattern would barely be visible anyways and I was not having it. So instead I only spent 8 hours on the pattern alone for it to be barely visible. 
coloring the pattern was also awful. It's like a coloring book, but for people who hate themselves and any ounce of joy. I don't like drawing backgrounds, I still don't, and patterns hurt. So in conclusion, I'm afraid of background artists. I also wanted to note that if it looks like I'm tracing over some of the bits in the photo for this, I'm not actually tracing it, I'm just drawing on the photo because it was easier to reference it when it was closer and if I did trace anything, I didn't use that bit, I traced it to simplify the shapes. My problem of talking too fast has once again encountered me face first. So I need to talk about something to keep your attention because I tried watching this video with only the music and I got bored. And if I got bored, you are definitely going to get bored. So my mom was cleaning up in my room. I was helping, I swear. And I was like, hey, what should I talk about in this video for like two minutes? And she was like, talk about antique clocks and stuff because she was like winding a clock. And I was like, what do you think I know about antique clocks? I'm not going to be able to talk about that for two minutes. So I was like, give me a quick topic. And she's like, what not to do on a Sunday night? Clean up. And I'm like, mama, you're such a bad influence. And then I was like, I should just record this conversation. And she was like, no. And then she went ding, ding, like the clock. And I'm just saying, my mom would be a great YouTuber because... She's unhinged, and I think that's beautiful. I think in order to make content, you need to be at least a little bit unhinged, and now I understand how I got it. I also just thought over my sentence again, and I realized I said like, like seven different, I've done it again, see? I keep saying like, it's just, it's a useful word, okay? I don't know why I said that so very aggressively. Also, I asked my mom how she felt about being called unhinged, and she just said, I don't care what they think. <laughs> but now I'm filling time. Look at the pretty bunnies. Look, bunnies wearing dresses. Isn't this great? Isn't this a great video? Yeah, good, good job, Denise. You're making content. Please subscribe. Please. Or I'm gonna make you watch an ad. Let's see if I can figure out how to place ads in specific spots. Because my jokes keep getting ruined by the ads coming in, like, directly in the middle of them. YouTube, I know you have a personal vendetta against me for that, but come on. Come on. Okay, now I'm gonna talk about how last week I got my ears pierced. Does anyone care? No. But I care, so you're gonna have to listen to it because it's my channel and I do what I want. Wow. Last week, I was thinking, oh, I should probably get my ears pierced. I've been meaning to do that for like two years, but every time we walk past the like piercing place, my mom's like, hey, do you want to do it? And I'm like, oh, maybe next time. And then I don't do it. So on a Thursday night, she was like, okay, we're going to the shopping center at 7 p.m. and you're going to get your ears pierced at 7 p.m. And I was like, okay. And we tried to call the place to see if they were open. But because I don't call people, I tried speaking before they did and it ended up just being the whole message. So I just kind of spoke to a robot very aggressively like, Hi, are you still- Oh, you're a robot. That's what happened to me. It was pretty embarrassing and my mom was like, You usually let them speak first. I was like, Okay, experienced caller. But anyways, it really wasn't that interesting, which is why it's not getting its own video. They just poked holes in my ears and I tried very hard to avoid eye contact while they stared at me aggressively, well not aggressively, but intently, to make sure that the holes in my ears were not going to ruin my life. Thank you. Um, after that, it, I was just in a little bit of pain, but at least I had tiny pink diamonds in my ears, so who cares? Do I still have more time to talk about this? I do! Wow, this speed pain is long! What am I even doing at this point? Okay, who cares? Back to talking about my new experience of ear piercing. I didn't realize you had to keep in the first piercings you got for six weeks. Like, it's not something that they tell you beforehand. They like get you in there, they stab the holes in your ears with the guns. And then afterwards they're just like, okay, so we're done here. Spray this thing on your ears every day and night. You can't take these out for six weeks. That's nice. Okay, get out. But you know, a bit more politely and also you can't sleep on your side while you're doing that and as someone who is constantly sleeping on their side it was not very fun okay now I should be out of time okay yeah I was still wrong we're still going I don't know what we're doing at this point I think we're coloring the line art or something go Denise do it faster 
do things. Why do you take 19 hours for this? I say that as if I will not do it again the next time I draw. Actually, I already have. You just can't see it yet. Okay, finally. Wow, we're done. Thank you for watching. I'm gonna go try and relax like a normal person, but I probably won't anyways. Goodbye!